So as I was about to sit down and call it a day, <laughs> I was already thinking of words of qu of like quitting and going home. Check it out. I got a Chipotle order for nine fifty. However, it's one hundred and forty five dollars. That's how much they paid. It's twenty six items, so it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Probably half of them are drinks. Um, and then the rest is food. So, uh, you know, usually these things come with big tips. They just don't reveal them right away. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Fingers crossed. Let's we'll see what it's like. The last time I did a delivery like this, it was 17 items. And I made like 20 bucks. No, wait, how much did I make? It was a lot. It was more than what they said on here. So uh, I'm gonna go to Chipotle and take care of this delivery, and uh, see how much how much is made, son. Fingers crossed. Twenty items. It's like big. They're gonna give it to me in boxes. So what I'm gonna do is first get a gun, <laughs> and then I'm going to. One, I'm gonna put on my sweater so uh, there's less space in here, more space in here. Uh, these are my cup holders. I'm gonna put these in the side pockets. These are the sticky things that I put and they came off. I knew that was gonna happen. Putting them back because I added this additional one on the side. All right, so these I'm gonna put on my pockets. Force them in here. These are foldable, so I like them. one this one's dirty <laughs> I gotta wash it it's gonna be number two you know, I just put the lights on the bike all right cool so I got all the space available now oh no 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 Dang. Never mind. Alright. I might just be able to roll this my raincoat. Yep. This right here. That's cool. I don't think that was intended as a pocket, but we'll do the job for now. Cool. There's these two boxes, so I'm gonna put them in here. I'm just gonna organize everything. Oh, these are the chips. I was gonna put this on top. This is this stuff. That's the heavy stuff, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom. So just gonna neatly organize them. They're not that heavy. Yeah, a bunch of burritos. So even the weight, so it doesn't smash one. A bunch of burritos. All right, cool. And the top one, so I don't have to like take it out. This is not heavy. I'm just going to put it on top, strap it in there with these. It's just, uh, I think it's the utensils and stuff. Yeah. Unless I take them all out, 
What do you guys think? Um, probably all fits in here. What about the utensils and all that? Is it in one of the bags? No, you know what? There's sauces in here. It's gonna be this in here. Take this apart. Those are it? Okay. Yep. How do you take this apart? All right, let's figure it out. Okay. All right, cool. I'm gonna take it apart over there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna put one on top. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm about to figure it out how this goes. Uh, should I even take that? No, I don't want to. Just take it like this. Alright. Oh, this way. Mm. Do it this way. Uh, can I leave that with you? I don't need that. The box? Yeah. Well, we usually I like, go up to right to their kitchen and take everything out, so don't need it. Thank you. Alright, let's do it. Delivery is not far. Damn, look at that little puppy. Alright, so. Hopefully, I can take her all the way upstairs because I don't have a box for the second load of food. Should have brought it, <laughs> but uh, it's all good. Figure it out. Take this light. Oh, check it out, guys. Uh, my customer put in the wrong address for this order. <laughs> so I have $150 worth of food. Am I and at the wrong? Well, I'm at the right place, but she put the wrong address. It's uh, not even close. It's on a hundred. It's like far. It's in Torrance. I'm in Los Angeles. Literally a different city. So I'm uh, waiting to. Get someone on uh, on the phone or in chat. I'm waiting so I can see what I'm gonna do because I can't just leave the order here. I mean, I can. It's a lot of food though. <laughs> Not sure what to do. So I'm just gonna wait for the chat. See what happens. They'll probably take me to take tell me to take it back to the restaurant. But uh. Got to get paid, son. We'll see what happens. Respond it. Damn, they're experiencing higher than normal support volume due to COVID-19. Damn. I don't think I'm going to get someone on time. I don't want to wait here too long. The good thing is that it's not super busy, so... Otherwise, I would have been so stressed. I would have been like, F it and then just leave it take a picture but i'm curious as to what's gonna happen all right boy i got someone to respond damn <laughs> so the guy i was chatting with i told him that uh, i can't deliver because it's like 14 miles away it will take me an hour to get there 
and it's heavy i mean it's not super heavy but these type of uh weights so you you shouldn't carry for long periods of time so there's no way i'm gonna go to torrance anyway he unassigned me but now i have all this food i'm asked i asked him what should i do and he missed i think he misunderstood me he said you can't deliver because it's too far i told him yes the original location was near and then uh, the new one that was updated when i called the address is too far so now what just waiting on this guy but he takes forever to respond and i need to get back on it get back on it get back on it there's a lot of food man can't just throw this away what am i gonna do with this food i'm a meal prep <laughs> Now I have to buy food for the rest of the week. Chipotle all day, getting like 10 pounds. Fuck it on it. Jesus, what would you guys do? Got a box sticking on top of my backpack. Mm -hmm. What to do, what to do. So now this guy's telling me to take it back to the store. Damn. I wasted an hour. Trying to figure out what, what I'm supposed to do. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna take it back to the store. So uh, it's because the guy unassigned me, right? I didn't unassign it, he did. And now he wants me to take it back to the store. Someone else is gonna pick it up and take it to the customer. I, on the other hand, looks like I'm not gonna get paid. And I just wasted an hour of my time. Damn. See what this guy said. I'm all like, no compensation? <laughs> Man, good thing uh, he's, you know, like it's good that it's slow right now. I probably would have been more pissed if, uh, if it was busy, it was back to back. But uh, since it's not, it probably would have been sitting around anyway. <coughs> I got all excited. Thought that was gonna make good money here. That was gonna be a cool like. Uh, well, it's 150. So what is 15 percent of 150? Um, that's like more than 30 bucks. Cause uh, let's see, well at 115, that would have been 45 dollar tip. Wow. Yeah, at 15 percent. Am I doing the math right? Yeah, because 100 would have been... Uh, no, no, I'm doing it wrong. 15 would have been like 20 bucks. Something like that. But uh, I ain't going to get nothing. Not a zip. What can I do about this? Let's take it back. I'm curious to see what they're going to say at the restaurant. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna return this because I don't wanna carry it all the way home. And I don't wanna throw this away. Yeah, you would think they don't have enough to do. Oh, shit, I'm getting another delivery too. All right, all right let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna leave this so I can get back to work. Take a picture. And they're gonna throw all this food away. That sucks. Oh wow. There it is. Take out my cup holders and shit. All right, so we're good, right? Everything's right here. Let's squeeze about all in there. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. What's your name? Oh. Ashley. Ashley. Hey, William. William. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cool. I like your setup. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, you know, in case I get like hit or something. You know? Yeah, it's a good idea. Right? Yeah, man. Do you Capture. have it on the full 360 or just the front? 
It's a super view, so it's like wide, panoramic super background. wide. Oh. Like this is our widest GoPro well, yet. It has a rear camera too, right? Yeah, because it's a 360. Okay, but you have that one turned off. I just have it for the hero. I just have this, so. so that yeah. was his battery. It does. It, it does last me like not all day, but like two hours consistent recording. But I just record when something's about to pop off, so I'm like, you know, or <laughs> yeah, I just start recording, you know. Yeah. You capture a lot of crazy stuff, man. Especially around here, you know? Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good day, man. Thank you. All right. Cleaned my hands. I'm good. Let's go. Back to work. My head around the, the entire order that I just went through. So this is what happened. I got a... a a pickup order for like 28 items at Chipotle 150 bucks worth right so that means I would have gotten like a good $30 tip at 15% would have been cool um, it's happened before so I was like let's do it right pick up 26 items tuck them in my backpack nicely go to the address which is like five six or seven blocks away then uh, when I look at the address I look I see that in the apartment section where usually where you put the suite the unit the apartment whatever it had a different address in there when I call a customer she confirmed that she is in the address where that apartment and suite number is clearly the wrong address very far away 15 miles away on the car it's not so bad but on the bike that's extremely far that's an hour of riding one hour of just riding and it's like 950 10 bucks the tip isn't guaranteed and it's too far it's too heavy i would have messed up my back if i carried that much weight for that period of time you know usually in five ten minute bursts is okay but if I carry that weight in my back for an hour, it's gonna fuck me up. It ain't worth it for $10. So I tech support, you know, there's a whole COVID-19, so the chat took so long. And then, you know, the guy didn't really seem to understand me. Usually that happens because these uh, bots are outsourced. You know, their English is not good. So they just look at keywords, right? I told them they put the wrong address. He goes and updates the address and expects me to go all the way to Torrent. I told him, no, I'm on the bike. He's like, oh, you have the food already. This guy thought I haven't picked up the food yet. So he unassigned me from the right completely. And here I am with $150, like a douchebag, just standing there on my bike with a big old box in my backpack. Not knowing what to do, I tell him what should I do with the food. Pretty much 40 minutes later, this guy tells me take it back to the store. I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, am I gonna get paid? He tells me straight up, no, you're not gonna pay because you didn't deliver. I'm like, oh my god. At this point, I don't even want to return the food, right? But for the sake of knowing what's up, I go back, talk to the girl. She was really cool, Ashley. She told me. I told her, I was like, you gonna throw this all the way, huh? She's like, yep. I was like, dang. So, I wanted to keep all that food, but you know what? To get deactivated for food is not worth it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just return it. I gave it back to her. I told her, hey, make sure if they call you, you let them know that I returned the food. Because what happened is that I was unassigned. They sent another driver to pick up my order. But this guy in the chat didn't tell me to take it back on time. By the time I went back, they already said that the delivery was picked up by someone else. So it comes back to me. So it's going to look like I never completed the order, which could potentially get me deactivated. And right now that the whole COVID-19 is going on, if I do appeal it, that might take a while for me to get back on uh, DoorDash. So, you know, it's a... It's a a lot going on right now i don't know what's gonna happen here but uh 
I ain't gonna lie, I kept six bowls fucking with me. <laughs> About to have me a little picnic. And uh, just take a break because right now it's, what is it, 2 240? It's gonna be no traffic right now. It's gonna be dead, like, just like how it was yesterday. So I'm just going to chill for a bit, maybe work on some things, eat some Chipotle, <laughs> and then I'll come back later, like around 5 30. Um, maybe 6 30 because I know it did get busy after 7, so a few people told me. And uh, just probably get like uh, like two hours of it being busy. So far, made nine dollars. Terrible. Not much money out here. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully, I don't get deactivated because of this. But I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> 